And welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. It's time to explore the rest of the x Nuts moon base. Is there even anything left? Well, yeah. That's it. Like I said, we're only about halfway done. Well, I saw the level one. I saw sub-level one and two. What, what have we missed? Well, sit your ass down and I'm a school ya, okay? How'd you know I was standing? Where are the cameras? I can see everything you're doing. <laughs> well, I hope you don't mind just me staring blankly at Paper Mario Thousand Year Door footage. So we have an elevator here. Oh. Well, okay then. And we got two more sub-levels. There, class is missed. <laughs> oh, sweet, I can leave? Peace. So let's explore these sub-levels, see what we're dealing with here. Uh, after a random battle. Even course. more battles, me bucko. Ah. Quake Hammer's really, really handy in these situations, I'll tell you what. I'm glad we have- There we go! Yeah! Yeah, I'm glad we have something to take care of little peons, because it's not really worth our time to kill them anymore. I see you with that shooting star back there. You're not going to get a chance to use it. Aw, oh, you put little crosses in his eyes. That's so messed up. Gah. It's hard to count as I can't get the timing right. You know, I miss the Mario and Luigi series type of counters where it's either jump or hammer and nothing else. Yeah, th those were fun. Because it's the Paper Marios and... Mario RPG that does the, you know, timing button press and it doesn't really work as it should. I don't I, I don't want the shooting star. I don't I don't want the shooting star. I don't want it. But the shooting star wants you. I don't want it. Take me, Mario. Take me for I am your shooting star. All right, let's go. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so. Oh. Okay. All right. Good. Just one square at a time. That's all it takes. Little by little, have the patience. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Okay, now we're going back. All right. <laughs> Did I miss a jump or something like that? It's taking me all the way. Okay, maybe it's not. Okay. Okay, we're going the other way now. All right. Yo, okay. dog, I heard you liked backtracking and wasting time in your Paper Mario Thousand Year Door experience. Let's do it multiple times within the same save file. That sounds like a great idea. Nisko. What? Why in the world uh -huh. would I ever want to waste any time? Well, I kind of figured you had that mindset when you never cut out any battles ever. <laughs> well, they're important. They are? Yeah, they are. Well, that's fair. It is the bread and butter of the entire game, after all. <laughs> Besides, I struck first. That's crucial to the episode, you know? That is crucial, and you got a couple of these, uh, these cross amoebas, or whatever they're called. Yeah, how are we gonna deal with these losers? I'm- and you probably, uh, jump on him? Holy well, shit! You guess right! But how about Yoshi? Is he able to ground pound this one into- into oblivion? Let's I find out! I have a strange feeling he's able to do it. Just enough! Oh my Good god! Good job! Look at that! And a whole six experience points for your hard work. See, I couldn't cut any of that out. Not at all. But it also kind of kills the pacing a little bit. Well, anyway! Here's where, we got all, here's where we use all these card keys. Red. Gold. And green. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, the card key. So I guess we just go through here. I Nothing underneath oh, there. Oh, please right. hit. Please let it hit you on the other side. Please. I don't think you can do that, but I'm going to take him out anyway. 
Another crucial battle that we need to see. What do you think PhD stands for in the Mario universe? PhD? Yeah. Uh, Peach's Hydrogen Dragon. Plumbers having degrees! Do you think Mario has a degree? It wouldn't surprise me. Because I still think that Dr. Mario shtick is just for show. I don't know. I think maybe a, a doctorate is not exactly as prestigious as it, is, as it is in our world, you know. Having a doctorate in the Mario world is like having a, uh... <laughs> it's, it's like having a GED over, over here, you know? <laughs> so, does that mean there's a... A... A title higher than doctor in the Mushroom Kingdom? Yeah, obviously! Princess! So... I am hearing that I could take over the monarchy if I become smart enough to overtake a doctor. No, Princess or is over, Doctor. Hmm. So that means we you, have You gotta become like a you gotta become like a royal doctor. Oh, a royal doctor. I mean, eventually I'd be able to rule over the stars because Rosalina being the best princess out there. And being, uh, you know, mother to the stars. That's Nisco, a title I could so shoot cute. for. Best princess. Nisko, you're so cute when you're wrong. I am starting a waifu war in your comment section, is what I'm getting at. <laughs> then who's Wife. your favorite? Sheena Mayuri from Steins Gate, obviously. No, I mean for, like, the Mario universe. Oh. Oh, I don't find any attraction to any of the Mario, <laughs> Mario characters, and... Okay, fine. Pom pom. That's it. <laughs> What's this guy because doing in the shower? I don't know. What are you, you hoping to sneak up on someone or whatever? You need to die. Anyway, you were saying about pom pom. She's a fucking ninja. That's awesome. Is Princess Peach a ninja? No. I mean, she's Princess, <laughs> Princess Zelda's a ninja. Princess Zelda's pretty awesome. Every iteration, except for the ones where she has no personality, like Twilight Princess. No personality in Twilight Princess? <laughs> I know. I think, we were play I think we were playing the wrong game. It's Skyward Sword where she has no fucking personality. Yeah, she does. She has none. She utters an actual smile. Oh, wow. A smile. That's all the personality I need. Well, I mean, Zelda in Twilight Princess just, like, goes, Yo, what's up, Zant? Oh, well, I see you have overwhelming numbers. I'm gonna just give up. And then she sacrifices herself so Midna could live! Well, that's a selfless act, but it's not personality. She said it was selfless. all Selfless! The... That's personality! Oh, my God. Meanwhile, what's her personality discovered sword? Oh, she she's always two steps ahead of us, and Impa says, You're too weak to be with her. God, I fucking hate Skyward Sword. I know. If I could keep it going longer, I totally would. <laughs> yeah, keep it going as long as Skyward Sword did for 50 hours of my life wasted. It was a very long game because of all that lovely backtracking that somebody on the development team thought was a good idea. Ugh. Kill me with that backtracking. It's nothing it's like, like... Hey, hey let's, <laughs> let's come over the three... Three areas of the game twice. <laughs> Let's make so it so hard. in one of them we have to use stupid time mechanic puzzles that's an absolute chore to get through. Oh hey, and when you're in that stop time section, be sure not to get caught by the security dogs or whatever they are, otherwise you're doing the entire thing all over again. God Oh, it don't even remind me about the fucking stealth mechanics. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, let's do the. Let's, you gotta get all the drops, otherwise the spirits will get mad and throw you out of your own soul. <laughs> I think the least favorite part of that is the entire gimmick of the game. Like, I don't need precise controls. I mean, it's a neat gimmick, but I don't really need it. And also, every enemy is designed around the fact that you have to, like, swing perfectly. It's just. It's, it's dumb. Throw it away. You don't need it. We got all these people clamoring for, oh yeah, make a Switch remake of Skyward Sword. Like, are you kidding me? How could you do that? I mean, if they fixed it, like they did a little bit with uh, Wind Waker, 
I mean, that could be okay. It still wouldn't be that good, because then you re you remove the main gimmick, the main mechanic of it, and then it just becomes a boring Zelda game. And if it's anything Zelda should not be, it's boring! Well, what if they actually fix the, you know, go back and backtrack bullshit? What if they just, like, shortened everything? Then it wouldn't be Skyward Sword. It's not like adding a fast sail in Wind Waker to make the sailing more, uh, you know... Uh, easier to, tra tra to traverse. Or this is like gutting half the game because they didn't make too much game. Yeah, Skyward Sword was a mistake. Now, Phantom Hourglass, that was also shit. <laughs> Man... <sighs> Like, I, I love playing Nintendo's games, but when they when they mold everything around a gimmick that I hate, I, I don't like playing those games. I like to think that since the Wii U has failed, the whole gimmick thing is kind of... I think they've moved past that. Now they just make good games, and oh, hey, look at that, they're doing a lot better now. In fact, they've done... They, they, they've done incredibly well for themselves. Well, you say that, except Super, uh, Super Mario Party was all Joy-Con based. If you got the Switch Lite, you can't play Super Mario Party. Well, why would you get a Switch Lite anyway? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know, for filthy casuals. <laughs> well, the only reason why you would have gimmicks is for, you know, a party game like that. I mean, we all love Wii Sports, right? That was all based around, you know, gimmicks and shit like that. Man, that was the start of the bad trends, where almost everything had to have motion controls. I, I just love that... You know, games that had fun with the motion controls, like, did it just for the lulls, like, No More Heroes. That was pretty funny. Whoa, where did Bobbery go? He, he fell. He just gave up? Goodbye! I'm not long for this world, old boy! <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I actually haven't um, started up Pikmin 3 Deluxe, but I did play the demo. This is what should have happened in the first place. Get rid of the gamepad functionality. There was only one thing that made Pikmin 3 good on the Wii U, and that was using that extra screen to move people around. But in Deluxe, they relegated that to the pause menu, which is fine. I cannot tell you how glad I am that Breath of the Wild exists. Because I was, like, nearly ready to write off Zelda forever, but then Breath of the Wild came out, and it was one of the greatest games of all time, and there you go. Well, they didn't make too many, like, after Skyward Sword. Wasn't it Skyward Sword and then move over to Breath of the Wild? Yeah, basically. I don't remember. Six whole years. Many. Oh my god, is it time for a boss fight? It's time for the boss fight. Sweet. Hey, what's up, Lord Crump? All right. Nothing to this one. This guy's a pushover. However, he is using a good idea of, you know, we have one crystal star. We have, like, six crystal stars. He has the one, so he lures us over to his base. Then he takes the six we do have, then he has all seven. I mean, that, that that's a good idea. Isn't he going under the x not leader to do this? Oh, well, the x not leader fucked off. Well, that's a good point. See, I was expecting a plot twist where this guy pulls a star scream and just wants to overtake and become the leader of the Decepticons. Oh, no, no, no. Grobus actually fucked off with Peach. <laughs> oh, shit. So Peach isn't even in here anymore. But oh, now we gotta no. deal with the... <gasps> oh, even better. The Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. <laughs> it has the stretchy arms from, uh... Oh, from Origami King. Mario's looking at those arms going, hmm. <laughs> what a great idea. So here we go. All right, show me how much of a pushover he is. He made oh my a God. dozen improvements, <laughs> did ya? A, oh, a dozen improvements. Wow, Microsoft did learn from their past mistakes. Yeah, it's too bad it was only a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Xbox Series, uh, 7.0. What are we on now? Five damage, wow. So you can bail out here so she can tattle. 
Magnus drill attack. Uh oh, that sounds Where painful. He jumps up and drills you. God, this is just an Eggman fight. I swear I fought this thing in a Sonic game. Magnus Von Grapple 2.0, the upgraded version of Magnus Von Grapple. <gasps> 70 Woo! HP! The defense of two. That's a big boy. That's that, that's a large chunk, yes. He also unleashes his fists that have an attack of nine, so that's gonna hurt like hell. Hmm. So take out the fists, and then take out everything else. Fire machine guns, good lord! See, all you did was just add on features without fixing the main problems, in that I'm going to destroy you guys! Can't get the timing just right, though. But, this shouldn't be too hard! He's gotta blow him up, that's already five, I mean, he's already down six, you know, to 60 HP. <laughs> Thanks. If I use a uh, power smash, that should be like, what, six or seven? Yeah, seven. So this won't take too long. Alright, here come the fists. Break out the machine guns, boys. Oh no, whatever shall I do? <laughs> How about this whole all enemies attack? Oh baby. Boom! Kerr Bluey! That is a huge attack! What's hitting me? Oh no! I'm sorry, little pony, I didn't know you were trying to get me syrup! But I, ca I can't even take it anyway! <laughs> Wasn't even worth it, but I'm still sorry, Poony. Imagine throwing syrup on a theater stage. <laughs> Ew! Oh, what the? Whoa! What the hell? I don't know what that was, but... Sheesh. That was actually really cool! I like how he reels back in pain. Ah! Let's do Art Attack. Just to get a little extra damage on him, see what we can do here. Draw some circles to hurt the so, big bad man. Uh, one. Nothing. None. Two, one. <laughs> three. Drawing some circles four. to hurt the bad man. That did what not work a, at all. What a pathetic attack. That, that did not work at all. I'm gonna be a puddle of something. You got tricks, do ya? Well, try me. Oh no, not the audience! No! What the hell? Alright, bring it on. See what you can- uh, Oh, 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 no! What the fuck? Bobbery! What the oh. fuck? Oh shit! Dog, dig, uh, I got nothing that can help him! Well, that's mean. Yeah, that's mean. Shit! Uh, okay. Um. Fuck. <laughs> Can you put him to sleep, maybe? No, let's, let's, uh... Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get Vivian out here. She's got an all-attack that we can use. Uh, okay, so... Shade Fist! We can burn him, too. That'll give him some extra damage. You're my, you're my only hope, Vivian! Come on! Okay, yeah, keep doing those drill attacks. But Vivian's only got 20 HP. I don't think she can last too long. We gotta... We gotta hurry things up here. Let's get the power smashes going. Yeah, okay, okay. So far so good. Up. Oh. Da! <laughs> Why? You actually have me on the edge of my seat. You might actually die. Oh, I'm fine. It's my partners that are in trouble. I'm so glad you can change out partners and they don't have to be alive to change them out. But if Mario dies, that's it. Yep. And speaking of which, uh, watch your health there. I got about another... He's got one more attack before I'm in trouble. Luckily, I've got plenty of FP and plenty of power smashes to stub his toes with. Yeah, 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 we got it. It's over. It's over. 
Unless he gives himself health. Okay, so we got that attack, which is three, plus the one, uh, uh, one bit of burn damage he's gonna sustain. Does a drill attack. Does nothing. It's over. It is over. It is over. Over it is! Phase two, baby! Goodbye! <laughs> Blah! No phase two. That's it. Wow. Congrats. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw my guess out there and say he didn't have the crystal star. There he goes! Ding. Off to re wreak havoc in some distant Metroid spinoff. But there's the crystal star! Get the fuck out of here, really? Yeah, there it is! We got it! We did it! Really? We won! Yeah! No way! We got all seven crystal stars, dude! Oh. Okay. We can use Supernova! Oh, God! And that is the end of the chapter! Wow, that was it. Okay. That was it, yeah. All right. Most of it was trying to get to the moon in the first place. Oh, well, that's a good point. The last crystal star had been hidden in the cross knot hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? Uh, and what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? Time to retire. <laughs> Come forth, Almighty Shinran! What do so, you wish, Mario? So Peach is kind of gone, which means that we're checking our, our good guy Bowser! Mm, we're here, at the ritzy part of town. Putridness, yes. But we already have the crystal star, dude. I did. Let him have I his time. I love the fact that throughout this whole game, he has not had one single crystal star ever. <laughs> not even close. Always being two steps behind is. Not that advantageous. Two steps behind is generous. Mm. He's been like two dozen steps behind. It's like, dude, we've already gone to the moon and back. We, we've we long left this place in the dust. In fact, while we were backtracking, he still hadn't made his way here. Don't burn the toad girl. I'll burn whoever I want, a Bowser. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, please don't burn the bombs. Whatever you do. <laughs> they worked really hard on that fountain. They gotta have the NPCs admire it. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that mode seven. Wait, that's not mode seven. <laughs> That's that's what we need. We need we need NPCs to admire every single bit of the game. It's like, oh, look at these text bubbles. Oh, the code that went into them. Can you imagine how much time and effort went into this? Such talented developers to make such good text bubbles appear. You know, if the developers jerked each other off that much, I, I think we might have another Y2K on our hands. We uh, we're the evil king extraordinaire, of course. Mm -hmm. No! Oh, we scared him off. Huh? Where'd he go? Kid? Kid? <laughs> Fear me! I love how Bowser just revels in the evil. He's just so happy to be evil. He doesn't care about being a good guy or an evil villain. He cares about being the best Bowser he can be. <laughs> oh, wait, he lives. I was wondering if he could just break the log. Whoa, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he might meet uh, Dupless and all those people. Yeah, they put the fake star back. Yeah! Oh, please break in his hands. Please break in his hand. So I hate Pennington, but uh, this is where his whole joke comes full circle. How many crystal stars get stolen from this place every day? Ah, oh, I'm the Koopa Coot. Fake! If you want it, it's Another yours! Another fake?! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, God, I love Bowser's subplot so much. It's just so funny. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> I lost to Luigi! Oh, no! Ah, no! No! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh god, all of that for one joke. We got an update! Oh, did you find Luigi? No, he found Mario. How did he find us? He's got a good underground network. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. Oh, great, now this Bowser knows about the thousand-year door. Everything's coming together. Hard to believe that we're actually coming upon the final chapter of the game. Oh my god, does this mean we'll actually finish a project in the same year we start it? Who knows? This last chapter is really, really long, though. That's what I hear. We're gonna start that last chapter <gasps> next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door! Oh, I can't wait. Oh, yes, get excited. See you next time. <laughs>